Nasdaq 100 last week formed the double top levels and since then has traded bearish and closed the week on a bearish. Now what to expect next week? Can we expect it to continue with the bearish momentum here or can we expect it to trade in this bullish channel? What to do next week? Which position you should take trading tech 100 next week? We will see with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards the end I will give you the trading levels and strategy to watch out for. Do watch till the end and before leaving the video press the like button do share subscribe and comment and do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis and targets which I share for Nasdaq 100 first with the Asia session next with the Euro session do watch both let's start also you can remain updated by joining my free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start with the weekly now see most important here higher highs are done double top is done and you can see the previous candle previous candle was with the lower lows now 15300 to 14700 the median is now staying at around 15000 level so this is the median below which if you see nasdaq 100 trading next week you can expect more bearishness may prevail and then we are looking forward to a drop here so uh, i will definitely watch out for how it behaves at around 15000 levels plus minus 50 specifically 14950 levels and 15050 levels so between this zone how it behaves staying below this zone certainly one can expect that we are going to look forward to a further drop but remember where is the support level for tech 100 remember it is still trading bullish you can find out 14600 as the first support and 14300 levels 14200 levels as the next support level here yes it is coming after a sharp rise remember you can see this the rally started from here since then track 100 has been trading in this bullish channel and it is still staying bullish there is no signs of bearishness yes it has shown a red candle however not up to the extent which it should have and the bottom of this channel now at around 14800 14700 levels below which only further bearishness is going to be seen where you can expect a sharper drop or a correction in tech 100 also you can see this is happening after a sharp triple bottom here at around these levels since then tech 100 has shown a tremendous rise now this is also coming after you can just have a little long term view you can see this rise then this retracement and now this breakout now this breakout is also to to the resistance levels you can see why 15300 is an important level and this we have discussed several times in our previous analysis that at this level itself that it is going to show you a complete recovery of v-shaped recovery here so yes it is still trying to stay bullish but we have to wait for it to because right now it is slightly overbought now coming to the daily chart on the daily charts see the rise retracement rise double top and now retracing again now if you look at the formation here 15200 is a greater greater resistance which it needs to pass by only and only if you see tech 100 is staying above 15200 and then 15300 levels you can see you can say that it is giving a breakout and we are going to see a tremendous rise from there right now it is not showing any signs of that also if you look at the formation here higher lows are seen higher highs are seen this is the channel in which it is trying to trade and hence specifically below 15000 levels i will be careful there because below 15,000 there will be a tremendous drop here we can expect 14 see 15,000 and 14,950 till here we have to be watchful and then below that definitely we can expect a sharper correction which might take it till towards 14,800 and 14,700 levels as you can clearly see a double top which means a drop till towards 14,600 levels cannot be denied now coming to the monthly charts on the monthly charts see uh, from 12,000 to 15,000 levels almost a 25% rise in just last four months is what increases the chance of a little pullback and if it shows now see it is formed from the previous two candles it has formed a double top it is looking downwards probably we can see it is stretching the drop in this month and the candle size could be the same size or can be almost bigger than this which means it can try to get till towards 14300 200 zone the next support levels before it looks over to a bounce back this could also possibly be be the beginning of a reversal from here but remember at the same time beyond 15300 sky is the limit we are going to look at 15800 16000 levels also 
and it could probably go to those levels but before that a little retracement is almost appears to be certain now coming to the indicators let's have a look with the indicators if the indicators are also suggestive of the same now if you look at the moving average see the prices are too much divergent from the moving average see here and hence we have seen this conversion and in fact at this point it has dropped below till towards 50 period moving average also now at this point though the divergence is not much but uh, still and the moving averages also have a lot much of upward move and hence there is still bullishness however the chance for it to converge till here exists now this is a too far level and hence it could take a little time and wait for the moving average to rise till towards this zone at 14,000, 14,300 which means it is going to take a little more time and this should also be indication of the imbibed bullishness for it to achieve double top on the near term levels. Now look, the stochastic is extremely overbought and hence this calls for a little drop but it does not mean see tech 100 in the history if you look at historical trends it always try to stay at these levels for a little while right now it is definitely overbought MACD on the monthly charts is divergent and bullish it is crossed over but see this crossover is happening after 2010 you can see it has dropped till towards these levels for the first time and now is still trading with divergence and bullishness this is the only sign where we can see little more bullishness however it can try to converge a bit even if it is bullish it can try to converge a bit with couple of red candles and then try to fly from here rsi very near very flat near near to overbought zone coming to the weekly likewise on the weekly chart see this is a crossover this is a bullish crossover on the weekly charts here and you can see the uh, range here 13900 to 13000 levels it is trading with divergence trading with bullishness here and the prices are divergent from the moving average this calls for a little pullback this is still too much divergent and from here there are only couple of observations either the moving average has to pull back up and also the price has to come back a little down so even if it is bullish it could try to retrace a little that is my expectation here now this is on the weekly charts yes it is bullish crossover is seen here it can continue with the upward trend for a little while this crossover is happening after a long long time on the buy side and yes the sell side was activated also after a long long time here you can see on the weekly charts this crossover has happened only in 2015-16 levels and this is the second time when such crossover is seen here now see the stock stochastic on the weekly charts is also overbought and that is what calls for a little drop and it is looking downwards also look at MACD see this has achieved extremely higher levels here and possibly from here this should converge crossover and stay in a bearish mode for a little while that is my expectation but then certainly we have to wait for a crossover as of now RSI is also overbought calls for a little drop now coming to the daily charts now on the daily chart so far you can see the 20 period moving average has given it a very good support and we can see it recovering from these levels also see the prices were divergent here it has converged till to, till towards the 20 period moving average now look at the moving averages these are extremely divergent extremely bullish and so this calls for a little bearishness in the coming few trading sessions and probably we can expect it to trade with a modest bearish bias in the coming few days that is my expectation but yes it has to certainly uh, first thing is how it behaves at around 15,000 levels plus minus 50 and then below that till 14,700 and 14,600 zone very very good support exists also if you look at the stock stochastic this has dropped the MACD is trading with divergence and bearishness this is the first wave this is the second wave higher lows and uh, see uh, this is still giving you higher lows so this is one observation which is giving a slight feeling that uh, this is still staying bullish I will wait for a breakdown on the downside this is going to be a sharper one RSI also looking downwards indicating slight bearishness considering this now we have seen the charts you have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels for and strategy for you for next week now before I give you the levels if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. The 23rd batch starts on 10th of July. Couple of seats are left. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals channel where trading as per the signals definitely you can benefit. So first thing is where to buy. Definitely my favorite and good or resistance level on the upside 15080 you can buy. But then 
above 15080 remember 15120 15150 and 15200 this is going to be a greater greater resistance zone here very very nearby once it stays beyond 15200 we can expect 15250 and 300 300 as the greater resistance and if it stays above this sky is the limit on the upside we are going to look at 15500 15800 and 16000 levels in the coming few sessions we have to be definitely careful here on the downside where to sell i will recommend you to sell here at 14970 levels below which you can stay short we can expect 14 900 as the first target and then 14 now see below that you have to just put a uh, hundred points you know 14 700 and then 14 600 till 14 600 levels you can say very very good support at every hundred points you can observe here for tech 100 and once it stays below 14 600 chances for it to hit lower and 14 300 levels should be very very high and hence till 14 600 one has to remain extremely cautious watchful below that certainly more drop is going to prevail so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out for any of your trading or training queries and uh, also before leaving the video just press the like button do share subscribe and comment also so that maximum can benefit also press the bell icon reach out to me via telegram or email for any of your trading or training queries thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you